Hey, so I'm gonna show you guys a quick tip, a rotary tip that you need to practice so you can become efficient and not be scared of using this tool. Obviously rotary, one directional, you wanna be impressed. Everyone was telling me, all right, this has some deeper scratches in it, so it's not really too, it's not bad. Obviously, of course, you know, these little, you know, they're not really that deep, but mainly I'm not really gonna focus on that. I want you guys just to see a basic technique that what we do, you know, to get comfortable with this. So same thing, you wanna, you can go ahead and applicate on your pad, but we're not really even worried about that. We're not gonna talk about priming, we're not talking, this is just one technique that you need to know when you're using a rotary. When you're cutting, so this is an efficient, this is a cutting technique and not a finishing technique. So the cutting technique would be obviously you wanna have your, co your compound easy. This is essentially what a mow down technique is when you're using a DA sander. Or, um, this, is what, this is the cutting technique that you're gonna use when you're actually taking out heavy defects in jacked up paint, new paint, you know, whatever you're doing. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna have your pad and you're gonna just tilt it and you're gonna run in a back and forth motion as you're mowing down. So if you're gonna pick a direction, if you're gonna be up and down, then stick to up and down. But if you just go on the side to side motion, so you're gonna slightly tilt your polisher and you're gonna massage, practice massaging the defect out. So that's the only technique that you need to know when you're getting into polishing with the rodeo. So like I said, this is this technique right here is an actual defect removing technique. So this is, the, I would say, one of the first techniques that you need to learn and then move on from there. And then moving on to finishing, that's, that's a completely different, different technique. Taking out defects, you wanna tilt, use that, slightly use that edge, but keep it flat. You don't wanna run into your edge like that. You're not, much, you're not doing metal polishing. You're still massaging, you still wanna keep that flat edge and you wanna massage in to it like you're using a Zamboni. So when you directional, when you turn it, you wanna just keep those edges on there to move the machine nice and smooth. So that's the main, one of the main techniques that you need to learn if you're using a rotary. If you're using, you wanna get out defects fast, you know, you can come in and see if it shows up. So obviously if you look in that light, can you see in that light direction you wanna get, want get above it maybe? So you're in that light. So if you look in the light to over here, so obviously you see some rotary, there is rotary tracks and we're not worried about that because we're not finishing. We're not finishing down right now. All we're doing is removing defects. When you're using a rotary as the tool of a defect to remove defects, that's the technique you want to use. The key is moisture too. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to use, do anything dry. Moisture is key. Anyways, that's your quick technique, quick trick, whatever, what we're doing out here. So that's probably something that you need to go ahead and practice. You know, if you want to do that, get comfortable with your tool. Anyways, that's what we do out here. You know what we do, bumpers, dents, interiors, PDR, inter we do it all. We're real life detailers out here with the Shine guys. Watch, like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.